I must finish the battle. It is over. <laughs> Sayonara. Oh my gosh, I'm still standing there. Why am I still standing there? I know. Believe it. This ain't no. Now don't sing the song. <laughs> yes, it's your boy Anthony Allen. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Anthony Allen Edits, the YouTube channel that is all about your editing so that you can tell the stories the way that you would like to tell them with your media and have that full creative control. And here in this video, I'm about to teach you how to do the effect that you should that you should be seeing on screen right now. That is what I'm going to teach you how to do. It's going to be a fun one, and you're also going to gain an asset from this video that is really going to help you with your video editing, especially if you're on YouTube and you have a YouTube channel that allows you to have fun with you know something that allows you to have comedic value something that allows you to kind of stretch your ability of video editing out of the realm of just a normal basic edit if this is you and this applies to you this video is gonna be great stay tuned it's coming right up Okay, so the best asset that I can give to you in terms of these elements that you can use for your video editing is a website called Footage Crate. I've used Footage Crate quite often in the past for my YouTube videos, not so much for my professional video edits, but for YouTube videos, especially when I'm doing something for a comedic effect or I'm doing something for fun, like a Dragon Ball Blast or something of the sort. This website is absolutely brilliant for gathering those type of elements that you can download and use in your projects. And that is exactly what we're gonna be doing here in this video to complete the effect that you've seen early on in this video. So without further ado, let's get into it. I'm gonna download the elements from Footage Crate and we're gonna use them within our video effectively so we can tell a story with our media and our video here in this video let's get into it I'm going to show you how to do it. let's go okay so I'm about to break down how to create this effect step by step let's get into it let's do it okay so I've isolated the top the part of the clip that I want to keep then I've isolated what comes next and I've also got my effects right so what we're going to do first is we're actually going to make sure these two colors are the same Actually, I'm going to balance these colors here. I'm going to make this a purple. The shadows, there we go. More of a purple. Play around until you get the purple. <laughs> Put it into a purple. There we go. Roughly around about the same. Yeah, it's just one's just brighter than the other. Uh, what we're going to do at this point is we're going to start messing around with our first clip here. So go to the first frame of the clip. And we are going to hit into the transforms. Show transforms. And we want to hit a keyframe on the scale and the position. From here, we're moving forward. At this point we're not going to do anything. And the glasses come off. At this point, with the people's elbow, people's eyebrow, <laughs> I'm going to hit the uh, position and scale keyframe. I'm just going to track forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, right about seven spaces, seven frames. And now we're about to make another keyframe by just moving the scale and the position. Closer, maybe covering the eyes. It looks really odd. <laughs> we want just the eyes here. <laughs> <laughs> it looks really funny. It's moving it in slightly further. Let's move it down. <laughs> it looks even more funny. And now we're going to scroll up just further. Get it down until the eyes are literally filling the frame. Oh gosh, it's gone backwards. Okay, just yeah. Using the scroller here now. Does it a lot quicker? Want it just a bit further out. 
so we had the fame of the eyes as well not just there we go that's hilarious <laughs> oh god that is hilarious right so now at this point what we're going to do is we're just going to drag our footage create lines over the top of the image at this point let's have a look yeah he moves um, <laughs> so to uh, minimize the movement we just want to zoom out actually and just put everything to a reasonable frame maybe the face in frame went a little bit too close there I thought it was hilarious either way <laughs> it's just hilarious either way isn't it see what that looks like <laughs> why is it why is it zooming out okay so we're just gonna I'll, I'll find it hilarious so we're gonna control right click we're gonna go show video animations and we're just gonna delete the second keyframe here and just by clicking on it and pressing delete now let's have a play oops we're gonna get rid of the index now we're just gonna play from the beginning frame let's have a look at that what the where's it go where's <laughs> <laughs> we just go. <laughs> I don't know what's going on there. We need to fix that. There you go. I just got rid of the one keyframe that was in the way. Let's see. Just sort of drag this keyframe slightly closer. No. And it's just a case of just moving it around until you get the desired effect on what you're looking for. That's not quick enough. Went faster than that. Let's have a look. That's hilarious. Um, we actually want that uh, last keyframe to end in a different place as well. Let's just move it over slightly to like center frame. Quicker? Yeah, we want it quicker. Why is he moving off to the left? I have no idea. Um, so what we want to do is we just want to maybe a freeze frame, maybe a hold there. Uh, so at this point, we're just going to go up to, with the clip selected, we're going to go up to modify and we're going to retime and we're going to click hold at that point. Further on as well, yep. That's fine, although it looks slightly unnatural, it's absolutely fine. Now, after this appears, we want our fist to show. So, going to the transforms, we're just going to completely get rid of that. Now, it doesn't matter, as we've zoomed in on that shot there, it doesn't matter. Um, when our hand actually comes up so we can actually cut everything else out at that point get rid of that and let's have a quick look slightly too long isn't it so let's just pull this all the way back to this point here Because it is a quick effect. Still too long. See the effects coming together now. Now we want to go into the generators and we want to find a custom generator. We want to put that in this point here. Again, trim it down, and we want to put our slash effect at this point. Zoom in, make sure that it's at the right size, 
This is what it looks like if we drag the whole effect over the top there to just express the danger. We've got our slash. The slash ends at this point here. So that's more or less where we want the darkness to end. We want our electric. So let's get rid of the effects panel now because it's in the way. We're going to drag our electric over to our fist. So if we go into it and we go to transforms, we can now go to position and scale, create a keyframe. At this point, or more or less at this point, let's make one here. Now, just moving the, we're also going to go for rotation as well. Rotation's already in there. Let's have a look at the effect there. Let's see if it's the right size. It's not the right size, so we're just going to make this slightly smaller. We're also going to rotate. So it sits on the fist. This point is going to move over. It's, it's more or less there, isn't it? That's good. We're going to go into the video animations and we're going to go to the first. I'm going to show video animations and we're going to go to the first keyframe and I'm going to delete it. So let's have a look now. absolutely brilliant we're going to cut it down to this exact point because I feel that's where the effect needs to end and that's where the slash needs to come in it's an A there delete in there and what we ideally want to do is we want to make this shot here have a bit more movement because it doesn't seem natural it seems unnatural it seems like the everything's being paused and we want more of a, a handy cam hand cam sort of shot so where it ends there and here we just want to go into our effects and type handheld. So handheld into the shot. We used to have more movement than that. So let's go into our clip now. Getting rid of the effects panel as well so it's out of the way. Let's give it some more shakiness. No distance to shakiness. We can actually go to the movement as well, the uh, retiming, actually bring it back to normal if you like. Drag it out slightly, let's have a look. That's brilliant, now at this point we can take this we can copy, we can add it into this point. And it's just a case of ha adding another handheld to the last shot to make it seem like somebody is holding the camera and they've been damaged from this ninja that just attack attacked them. And then let's add a uh, blur transition there. We a simple blur to just give it that more of a... Just cut in between and then add another blur to make it seem like the person watching has been hurt. I'm going to double click on that transition and make it smaller. Not that small, a bit bigger. At this point what we can do is we can actually add a, a earthquake effect to, you know, show the effect of power we added to the shot. Now let's have a look at how it looks so far.
add a denoiser so that the zoomed in shot isn't looking too grainy adding a color a, a color grade if you want to color grade it and then there's a few voiceovers and sound effects okay so from this point i've done mainly the spine of the effect and what i want to do is i want to make it look more comic book manga like so i've got everything that i need so far let's have a look at what the result is at the moment Looking brilliant. So what at this point we need to do is we need to go into the effects panel. Then you want to find comic looks. I'm not sure if everybody has this available. I'm not sure if this was a download or an add-on. But it is something that you can do maybe by adding a crisp contrast and a black and white effect. And that is how you would do comic book ink by the way. Um, so what we're going to do is we're just going to add this onto our shot. That I've now compounded into one shot to make it very easy to... Uh, compress this all into one shot then you can just simply just mess around with how this effect takes place so for example the ink smoothness at the moment is at 0% so it looks like when we change that around we've got fill ink at 50% Check, can you take this down as well? The smoothness is at 0%. And the ink edges Now let's have a look at what that looks like. Ready? Looking great. So at this point, well, another thing that we can do is we can go onto this compound, press edit, press copy, and we can paste this onto the last shot as well. So we get the desired effect. Oh, I've got to paste attribute, same way it's going to do the effects anyway. And the same on the last shot. With the sound effects in, this looks and sounds brilliant. So we're now going to add this in uh, and just maybe add a voiceover to the final finished piece. I must finish the battle. It is over. <laughs> Sayonara. Oh my gosh, I'm still standing there. Why am I still standing there? I know. Believe it. So there we have it guys, that is how you do that effect, that is Footage Crate, that's just two elements that I've downloaded from Footage Crate to use in this video, hopefully you've enjoyed it, hopefully it's been helpful to you, give me a thumbs up if it has and you've gained something here, we've used Final Cut Pro 10 for this tutorial but you can actually do this for other video editors as well, it doesn't just have to be Final Cut Pro 10 but that was my chosen editor for this video and tutorial. Give me a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it, let me know what you've created with Footage Crate and these elements, have you found something really cool on there that you're now using, maybe you'll use it in an Instagram post and not just for YouTube let me know what kind of videos you're creating with footage crate and these elements that you can download I'll love to see them down in the comment section down below just let me know about things that you've created really fun if you drop a link though it might not be allowed on my channel and it might just be banned because that's like taboo on YouTube and, and you know I've got like a spam folder that is really hard to go through sometimes but yeah see you in the next video here on Anthony Allen edits I upload daily so that's a good reason to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell because you've got an upload here every single day on Anthony Allen edits I will see you in the next one thanks for watching I must finish the battle it is over <laughs> sayonara oh my gosh I'm still standing there why am I still standing there I know. Believe it. Hey, no, no, no.